So this is a video on how to change colors in the foundation row, and this will be using foundation single crochet. So make a slip knot. Now chain two. Going into that first chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two. Go into that stitch you just made, pull up a loop, yarn over once, yarn over two loops. So again, go into that stitch you just made. This is what it'll look like from the top view or the bottom, I guess. Yarn over, pull up a loop. There's two on there. Yarn over, go through the first one. Yarn over, go through both. So I'm just gonna do a couple more stitches on here. Okay, now you can see that I have three stitches, well, basically four. So this is how we're gonna change colors now. So go into that stitch you just made. Here's what it looks like. And you can see it's starting to turn into that row. Go into that stitch, you have the two bars on top. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through one loop, and then stop. Now grab your other color. And so this is gonna be the back of it. Hold it with your finger. Yarn over, swap fingers to hold it, and then pull up. And you're basically gonna start the process with a new color. And I don't weave in this end until, you know, I've gotten further in or even until, until the end. So it's gonna look really loose and kind of weird until you start building up on top of it. So pull that back. Turn over, pull up a loop, go through one, go through two, looks a little loose. And now you're just going to continue that process with the new color. So I know it's common to float a lot, but I really don't suggest floating in this foundation row just because you're probably going to mess up the tension that way. Like what I'll normally do, for at least just for the foundation row, instead of making several different bobbins, I'm just going to cut. I leave a pretty decent tail. And then if I need to switch back to this color... I can just grab it. Obviously, if you already have multiple skeins, it's not bad. But I'll come back once we're like at the end of the foundation row. Okay, I'm at the end, or at least what I'm making the end now. So you can see it looks really weird. It's curving. It looks like maybe these have different tension or something, but it'll all even itself out as you do this row on top, or even like a few rows it'll take. So I'll come back once I've done a few rows and show you what it should look like. But you can see that you've done your foundation single crochet. Okay, you can see I am three rows in and it's starting to straighten out. Obviously, it'll change once you add the dowels too, so that'll definitely help straighten it out and blocking, but it looks pretty nice and even for me. So that's how you change colors in foundation single crochet.